in from the national capital where the Yamuna water level is increasing once again and now the prediction has changed and the prediction is now that the water will increase further. Remember the water level had started receding. Uh, earlier it had reached the 208 mark but then it had started receding but now we're getting uh, this latest information that the Yamuna water level in Delhi is increasing once again and now the predictions have changed and uh, the prediction now states that the water level will increase further. So this big breaking news coming in uh, from the national capital where the Yamuna water level which had started to recede is increasing once again and the prediction for the coming days has now changed and uh, now uh, it is believed that the water level will increase further. Remember the national capital has been witnessing flooding and water lo logging in several uh, low-lying areas and uh, people have been evacuated and moved to relief camps but now uh, there was uh, some relief expected as the Yamuna water level was receding. But as per the latest information, the water level has started increasing once again. And uh, uh, it is believed that the water level will increase further. We have CNN News 18's Akash Sharma joining us on this story. Akash, uh, can you tell us the reason behind uh, the increase in the water level in the Yamuna River? So it is uh, possibly because of the uh, flow and, uh, you know, rain in the upper catchment because we know that in fact in Himachal yesterday how a cloud burst, uh, you know, was reported. And after that, you know, uh, water level has somewhere increased. And now we are learning that in fact in Yamuna here in the national capital at Old Delhi uh, Railway Bridge, water level has started rising once again. Uh, in fact, till 6 a.m. today, it was going down. Uh, however, from 6 a.m. we are seeing an upright trend and in fact it is a forecast that by this evening, you know, it will be going to 05.85. We have seen actually that how water wa water level has in fact, uh, you know, crossed 208 in the last few days. But, uh, you know, there was a sort of relief when we got, got to know that water level is going down. However, uh, you know, n at this point in time, traffic, uh, rail, rail traffic and the road traffic is on on the uh, Yamuna Bridge. And, uh, you know, in some time from now, we can expect some sort of... Uh, a change, if any, from the railways. But, uh, you know, this is concerning once again because the Yamuna water level is rising once again. Also, Akash, just a few hours ago, we saw Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal had tweeted that the situation is returning back to normal. And so uh, many people have started moving back to their uh, residences from the relief camps. But now the water level has started to increase again. So what next? Uh, so we haven't heard anything from the government, but yes, definitely, you know, some decision will be taken uh, uh, monitoring the situation because we are uh, learning that uh, East uh, District Administration and East uh, Delhi uh, uh, District Magistrate is somewhere, uh, uh, you know, responsible and in fact the nodal officer for the conditions and he'll be taking a call and in fact in some time from now we can expect uh, some officials or the representative from the uh, Delhi government to speak on it. Also, Akash, what is the status of opening the gates at the ITO barrage? Also, uh, Anjali, you see a Navy team was deployed. In fact, um, you know, more than 48 hours have already been passed. And uh, till last night, you know, they were opening the second gate out of five gates. They opened first gate and then, you know, efforts were being made for the second gate. And in fact, in the morning today, when we spoke to some of the officials, so they said that they have almost opened two gates. And now they are opening the remaining three gates. It is very important and crucial because these gates are important to maintain the flow in Yamuna. And, you know, as far as this water level is concerned, so as it is, you know, again, uh, is on rise. So, uh, you know, it is very crucial that these gates should be opened because we have 32 gates and out of these 32 gates, total five were jammed. And because of these jammed gates, you know, officials were saying that we are unable to maintain the flow. And if these gates will be opening, then water can flow from these gates as well. And the speed will be quick and the flow will be quick. And this is the reason why the focus is on opening the gates. And, uh, you know, three gates are still jammed and the Indian Navy is working on it. Also, Akash, which are the areas that still remain to be waterlogged in the national capital? Uh, so, so we have, you know, Majnu Katila area where, you know, water is still there on Ding Road. And this is the reason why that road is still blocked from Majnu Patila to Hanuman Setu. Then we have some areas in the civil lines. However, efforts are being made to uh, remove the water and pump out that water. Also, uh, you know, in uh, 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 at uh, IP uh, flyover at Ring Road near IP Thana, you know, we have water logging. But yes, uh, you know, uh, authorities are there to pump out the particular water. At IT also, we are learning that, uh, you know, there is still the presence of water and road is still uh, water logged. However, 
you know, agencies like PWD, agencies like MCD are to, uh, on, on and off working on the uh, particular condition and they are trying to pump out the water. But you see, Anjali, you know, when we talk about the rising water level once again, so it will create a bigger challenge because you see drain water and even when you are pumping out this water will ultimately and eventually be going to Yamuna. And when Yamuna is already overflowing, so this is quite, uh, you know, problematic for people and problematic right. for the agencies who are working in this regard. All right, Akash, thank you so much for giving us all those details. We'll keep coming back.